So next up to tell us uh, all about the role of artists in the local community is uh, Vecinos. <laughs> I'm Gabrielle Ubaya. And I'm Michael Lopez, and we are Vecinos. Um, we're artists who don't know how to draw, who don't care how to paint or sculpt. We're more interested in people, process, utility, community, and life. But if you want to commission us to paint anything for you, we'll be more than happy to do it. <laughs> so at first glance, this slide may look like some botanist studying corn, or maybe some urban farmers gone mad. It's actually an artist named Melchin, who in the 1990s worked with scientists in the US, USDA to create an artwork that pulled contaminated land um, and, and took out the pollution. So he found that as an artist, he was able to circumvent bureaucracy that scientists weren't able to get through. Mm -hmm. um, this next slide may look like a chef maybe testing out some butternut squash soup or a soup kitchen. It's actually another art piece um, from the late 90s or 2000s by an artist named Rirkrit Tirvanit. Um, his whole idea is creating participatory art. So he wants the viewer to not just passively view paintings or drawings in the gallery. He wants you to enjoy food, and it's all about camaraderie and community. Um, and so this is sort of the sort of thing we're interested in as artists. Uh, this last slide of an artwork we're interested in is by an artist named Margarita Cabrera. It may just look like some women sewing, but her whole issue is um, the border, the immigrant communities, and she uses immigrant women to help sew these plants with their border stories out of border patrol uniforms. So it's also about the maker and um, the maker and the material giving meaning to an artistic aesthetic experience in a museum. So it's also about community. Um, as artists, Vecinos is interested in participatory art. We believe that artists really have room to make an impact on our community and create social change through partnerships. And we don't wanna just make aesthetic things, we wanna make things happen. Um, a little bit about Michael and I, we're part of a, we grew up in working classroom, a nonprofit in Albuquerque who focuses on social justice issues. I actually work there now as their visual arts program director. And this is one of our mentors, Joe Stevenson. Um, so that's kind of where we're coming from and where our artistic influence um, is. Yeah, so we see ourselves as kind of this collective of observer, collector, and facilitator. So Jorge de la Torre, who's here today, he's one of our collaborators, said, Vecinos is not about creating controversy or contention, we're about creating conversations. So you have George O'Keefe here, who creates this artistic representation of a landscape. She sees something, she's inspired by it, and then she shares it with the, uh, with the community. Or the computer, now. <laughs> so it's something that's observed and then shared. Um, you have Juan Manuel Chavaria, who's a Colombian artist, who works with people who have experienced um, violence in Colombia, who sing their own songs of survival, and he gives them this voice on this global scale. So these voiceless people receive a voice, so he's a collector. Mel Chin, once again, he has this project called uh, the Funder Dollar Bill Project, where he hands out these blank hundred dollar bills and people get to draw on them, and it's response to lead contamination um, post-Katrina. So it's very collaborative, it's very participatory, it's, and he facilitates this. So we really see ourselves as a collaborative um, where we value education and community-driven practice, and we really want to complement and enhance the experience that organizations have, and we want them to be participatory and give that little artistic uh, flair that, that you know, artists can provide. So this is your city, this is Albuquerque, um, and we see it as the canvas, we see it as the, the palette, the really rich palette um, in which we would like to work with, and we want to paint the city, and we want you to paint your city. Um, so that's the process we want to work with. So you take anything from a ditch bank and the politics around a ditch bank, from you know water quality to just uh, the rights to water, and you find ways to work with that community and maybe bring in artists to work with them or bring in another organization that works with food to work with them. We have Encuentro, this is Candelario, he has this project working with people, teaching them Facebook and Twitter. Say you have another organization that works with uh, food and uh, healthy eating. How do you connect Twitter to tomatoes? That's the artistic process in bringing those two things together. Um, so we really want to bring it back into the neighborhood. And yeah. So the whole idea of a cup of sugar is, as artists, we want to be your neighbor. We want to provide that cup of sugar for a creative idea that an organization may have or may not have, and we want to be able to make it happen. You know, our creativity is our capital as artists, and that's how we create change in the world. Yeah, so there's a great, 
group of people here today sharing ideas, and I think this is a perfect project. And I think that Vecinos would love to collaborate with anybody here who's interested. So we're vecinosdos at gmail.com. And a year from now, we hope to be presenting lots of projects with collaborators we meet around the city here tonight and just in general. So get in contact, please.